Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are doing a Bath & Body Works update for you guys today. I feel like this might be a little bit of a long one in regards to time frame from the last update to this update. And of course it wouldn't be a video of mine if my hair wasn't damp. Um, but that's just the way the situation is. And I'm just relocating myself on the floor here. Um, so yeah, why don't we just go ahead and get started since I did finish off quite a bit and even had to like stop myself from finishing a couple of items because I didn't want it to be like that sort of update, so. Let's go ahead and start with the one that hurts the most. <laughs> Which is the Ardent Candle Fruit Loop Candle. It's kind of hard when it's like, I, it kind of sounded a little bit weird because Ardent Candle is the candle company name and then this is the Fruit Loop candle. So I've taken out the spoon and then as you can see I've I've burned the entire thing like It doesn't even smell like Fruit Loops anymore, which is so sad. But the cool thing is, which I know I've preached, is that I finally get to clean this container out and actually use it as Pyrex. And I feel like we don't have that many, like, containers in my house. Like, I don't know what my family did, but, like, they put all of the lids in one box and then they kept all of, like, the actual covers in a different one. So now there's, like, mismatching and it's impossible to, like, match up. So I'm like, well, at least this one's gonna be, um easy because it's glass and pyrex so i'm actually really excited for that which is so lame but i guess that happens when you kind of turn into an adult when you start getting excited over tupperware um yeah uh so sad i really want to repurchase this um i know it's currently out of stock on the site um i follow like uh, Kobe's page, Kobe who is the founder of Art and Candle and Art and Candle themselves and he's also going to have a drop of new candles so I really hope that they both like match up on the same date because I don't want to not I don't want to miss out on the Fruit Loop candle and then have to place another order I just don't want to I don't like placing too many orders right now especially with the whole like USPS is being sabotaged and it's true because I, I I can verify with one of my packages that I'm waiting that you can so tell something fishy is going on so yeah I'm trying not to um order too many things I'm trying to go to the stores if I can well I don't even say like go to the stores I've been holding off buying things because I don't want to go to the stores but I am gonna go today because I have to buy a birthday present for my brother but yeah and maybe I'll like look around yeah so anyways moving on the other thing I ended up finishing up was the dream in the sky 24-hour ultra shea body cream I did cut this open because there is a lot of product in there that you just can't get by squeezing it I think I got little remnants of lotion on my face but it's okay because this whole section is gonna come off because I'm gonna be wearing a mask the entire time I'm out really enjoyed this um, you know, I really liked it, but I don't think I'm crazy and over it enough to go buy it again. I'm actually going to hit up a Bath & Body Works um, after this video. Um, so I don't know if I would purchase it again. Like, it does smell really good, but I don't know if it's, like, crazeworthy pay 50% off for it again. Like, if it was 75% off, I would definitely uh, pick it up, but 50% off, like, mm, I wasn't that crazy over it. So... That's out, and then let's see. The other lotion that I had in here was the strawberry pound cake. It was full to the brim when I put it in to the project, and now it is basically less than halfway done. Um, this is probably going to be used up by the next update, just at the rate that I use things up. I am going to be gone for a week, and I'm only taking carry on with me, so I'm not gonna be able to travel with this, so it is gonna get a little bit of break, but that's why I'm putting this other specific lotion in that I'll talk about. But strawberry pound cake, so good. I wish I had more. I have another full-size bottle of this, but I just really wish I had the body cream. The body cream, which I've used up, is delicious. I love this. I know it's like hit and miss with some people, but it was a hit with me. And actually, like if it's a hit for my boyfriend, like that is a scent worth repurchasing because... I think I've said it before, but like he's not super into sweet things, but slowly but surely, like I'm getting him to cross that line. Um, 
which is big progress for him, like scent wise, because before he's like, he wouldn't like that. Now he's like, I like it, it smells like you. So that's cute. <laughs> so, um, at least I have one more, except he hasn't been smelling it because he's in a different state, which is fine. But it reminds me that he likes it, and that is. Amazing. So I'm gonna be putting in a, another lotion since I, you know, I've been trying to expand the lives of my lotions by mixing just generic lotion. Also, not just like extending the lives of the lotion, but trying to not go through as many as the Bath and Body Works ones to kind of like reduce my plastic waste because I go through a lot of lotion. Like, it's crazy how many bottles of lotion I go through in a year. So if I can slow that process down or find alternatives, um and that's best for I think all around just like in the environment because I'm like not using as much um what else <laughs> longevity so I get to like enjoy a scent longer and that's all I got <laughs> so the one I'm going to be putting in which is my last item in this scent and I am heavily 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 like considering just going on ebay and overpaying for it because i love this scent it was one of my top favorite scents um sunshine days i had bought a three pack of lotions off of ebay i think for like maybe thirty dollars so yeah basically anything that is going on ebay for the scent you're basically paying ten dollars whatever the pop is which is absurd because they probably got it at the semi i know sale for 75 percent off but you know it is what it is, and this is a scent I'm willing to do that with. Obviously, I did that, and I'm down to the last bottle, which breaks my heart. My achy, breaky heart. I don't know if I have one in my college storage. I don't remember if I used that up or not. I might have, so this might actually be my last bottle. Um, but, yeah. Putting her in, full to the brim. It's my last one. I think the only thing I would really trust purchasing off eBay right now is either like this type of lotion or the shower gel, maybe even like the body spray, but I wouldn't trust like the body cream because I had the body cream and that went off really, really fast. Um, so yeah, if you are also looking out for the scent, which you better not be because I'm trying to get that scent, um, I wouldn't, I mean, actually get the body cream, get the body cream, you know, you know? <laughs> We're just going to put this in because I, you know, school's going to start and it just, like, I don't know. There's something about it that just is, like, fresh and, like, like, fresh, a new starting over, like, yada, yada, yada. So, that's the one I'm putting in. I am putting in one, sorry, I can't, it's because, like, my hair has, like, no shape to it because it's stamped. So, I'm, like, what do I even do with it? Because it doesn't do anything until it starts to dry more, but. Um, the last thing I'm putting in, like, lotion-wise is this little Hershna. So this is the Lush Naked Body Butter. This is the full-size one that I did purchase. I love this scent in compared to the other sample size and the lemon scent that I used. I am going to actually be keeping track on, like, how, you know, if it's worth the price. Because I think it is, like... 12 or 14 dollars so and the sample although it was free only lasted a week on like one portion of my body so we'll see if it's not the full size but i will like using the scent more than the other one just because the other one was too like citrusy i'm not super into like citrusy scents so i think this one's gonna be a lot nicer and like i said i am going to be traveling and gone for a week so i am going to cut like half of this and take half of it with me just because i don't have like many travel size lotions i only have one left and you know i go through that in like two maybe three days full body application so i'm gonna need something a little bit more so that's why i'm bringing half of this and then doing again that, that experiment to report back is it actually worth it if it is it'd be a great way for me to um obviously reduce my waist because it's like naked you know once it's gone it's like gone poof type of situation which is ideal because again i 
use up a lot of lotion and I really need moisturizing lotion because I have very very dry skin I know this is like a super chatty video and I'm like really dragging it out but you either love it or you hate it next thing is the desert wildflower moisturizing body wash um, it's kind of hard to tell where this is because every time I use it in the shower I'm using this to shave my legs legs because I hate the scent of it and I don't want it on my body but you know the one downside that I've discovered is that when I use this the bathroom smells like this and I'm only using it on my legs so um, that's interesting but I've been like squeezing it from the top so it's kind of hard to tell if I had to guess where it was I would say it might be like right underneath the lettering of the word um, but you know this is kind of be like one of those items where it's like it's gonna be done when it's done but it is going to be in here and you know it's summer I'm in Arizona it's 110 degrees um, so I'm shaving my legs quite a bit so Hopefully this is done sooner. It's really, really hard to tell because it's like not quite the consistency of a body cream, but it's in that type of packaging, so it just all squishes around, so. Yeah. I'm finally freaking sick and tired of this scent, and it's the Country Apple Spray. I cannot stand it anymore. I've been spraying this every day if I'm not like putting perfume on myself, and this last update, I couldn't do it. So it is officially bathroom spray. So this is where I was last time. I'm basically doing the same progress. Um, you know, my brother and I like use the bathroom and we just ran out of our, the room spray. And I was like, you know what? Instead of putting another room spray, I'm just going to put this. This is fine for the bathroom. Now whenever I smell country apple, at least in the spray, I'm going to think of the bathroom. It's fine. It's not my favorite. It was okay. I've been using it since, what, the end of March? So that's like April, May, June, July. Four months on myself and it wasn't like a scent that I was crazy about. So, you know, sooner or later I was going to get sick of it. But I've done good progress for like barely using it from a day-to-day -day basis like since April I suppose hopefully as a bathroom spray it goes a lot faster because I really want it out of my life forever I think I would buy like the body cream that's the only thing I would buy I liked the body cream but ugh, everything else I cannot so since I am dedicating that as a bathroom spray forever for the rest of its life um, here in this house, I am going to be putting in another fine fragrance mist, one that I actually love and one that I feel like it's time to use and enjoy. And that is going to be Paris Amour, another one of my all-time favorite scents Bath & Body Works has ever made, so I'm really sad that they discontinued it. Even though I think you could still get it online, but like I said, I always try to not order online. I mean, obviously, because time are weird right now um you kind of have to I mean you don't have to but you're more inclined to but I'm trying not to so um yeah you can still get this online it is up to here haven't really used it that much because I'm focusing on other stuff while the time passed between this and the last update but I love it and I think it's just gonna make me feel better as school is gonna start because it's gonna be the last semester but it's going to be my last fall semester not my last last semester because this is the final year but it's my last fall semester like finally like this has been dragged out for so long and such a struggle but this is not the video for that and this is already a very long video so I'm just gonna leave it at that I'm not putting in a candle replacement because like I said I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works and see what I see like after this video um and if I find something because I have a candle that I've been waiting to exchange if I find something then I might include like another candle that I have that I'm not so crazy over um but if not then no biggie We'll just wait till the next update. But um, that is my update. Let me know how you are doing with your own body care, bath and body works, non makeup y skin care project pans, or not even like project pans, but just things that you're deciding to finish. And so we all just feel the situation together. Um, I just did my nails this color, and there's like, I haven't filmed anything in them and I'm really liking the way that I did them. I actually like 
put some time and effort and now like they're starting to like have wear so that's why I'm doing like a lot of hand movements because I'm like yes get them in the video but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one